Ho, 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 and welcome to another Christmas NRG. Back again with some Christmas games for this year, of course. And here we are with Holiday Lemmings 1993 on the Commodore Amiga. This was a full game release after two demo uh, holiday-themed Christmas-style uh, versions of the game. I believe we had uh, 91 and 92. There was a couple of levels on each which were Christmassy-themed. Obviously following of the success of Lemmings on the Amiga by Psygnosis and DMA. And here we go, it's the usual stuff, the usual addictive, infuriating and extremely fun Lemmings stuff. But uh, as you can see, our little, little rodents have Santa Claus outfits on, how sweet. Everything's a Christmas theme of course, we, we go into the Christmas pud with the doors in. The, the Christmas pud that looks like a hobbit home. <laughs> but again, it's got uh, all the glaciers, sort of the snow themes. Little snowman there at the uh, entrance, um, at the entrance portal there. Little Christmas trees, lots of little Christmassy touches all over it. Even on, even on the uh, select screens and the menu screens, it's rather funny and fantastic. As Lemmings always is. There we go. That's the first level complete. And it is a complete game, this. It's uh, got 32 levels. Well, 16 levels actually, which are done twice over. Uh, for two difficulty ratings, where well, first is Flurry, which is what we're playing at the moment, and Blizzard or Blitz, sometimes known as, is the harder setting, and uh, it's all quite fun. Of course, all the interactions, all the mechanics are exactly the same as the original Lemming games. Here we go. Put them, turn them into floaters. Oh, it always made me laugh that. Turn the Lemmings into floaters. There was never any toilet levels, was there, to sort of like actually go by that double meaning. Mm. Let's get them all down to the Christmas pud in the snow. <laughs> Love the um, Christmas themes on the Paula chip here. I I think that's the highlight of the game, to be honest. I've always because one of the first versions of Lemmings I ever played was actually a late version of it. it was a Super Nintendo version, and it always uh, had music on the on the menu screens. I totally forgot that most. Most versions of uh, of Lemmings never had any music on the on the menu screens at all, like the Amiga version didn't. And uh, yep, true to normal uh, form, the Christmas version, the Holiday '93 version. Oh look at the oh look at that! Look at all these details. The fiery pit there, chimney frozen for some reason. There was a bouncing snowman the other side as well. I need 75%, and I rescued 100%. I killed none of the varmints. There we go. I only need 62% of this. Anyway, I digress. Um, what was I saying? I've completely forgot I was, what I was saying there. There's a snowman looking rather sad. I'm going to pause the game here and be, be really sad. There we go. I'm just going to have a quick look. There we go. Still do that trick. You should do that years ago. Pause the game. Just have a look. <laughs> and the Christmas lights at the top. Oh, look at that. The Christmas lights at the top. Amazing. Really cool. I'm trying to work out what I'm doing here. Do I have to dig? Oh, no, I missed it. I need a basher. There he is. Bash through that snowman, sir. Simple. Just need bashes here. It's really easy. And he's going to walk off, isn't he? He's going to... No. There's a wall that side. Oh, I missed him as well. And I missed him. Just dropped down the gap. Oh. Yeah. I always just like the miners. Just use the miner because it's funny. Sometimes. Is that the right thing? Oh, there's a jack-in-the-box there. Jack-in-the-boxes freak me out. And there's one bouncing around at the top. The Christmas lights at the top are really cool. Anyway, I digress. What I was saying was the music... So I completely lost my train of thought there. The music, I think, was fantastic on this. Great renditions of the, some classic Christmas songs. And um, I like listening. You know what? Sometimes it, you want to listen to a Christmas song. You can actually listen to the Christmas songs on Lemmings Holiday on the Amiga. 94 and 93. And they're really good. They're just really good to listen to. They're really good Christmas renditions. It's nice to see because sometimes they're absolutely butchered by computers. Things like Wish You Merry Christmas, Jingle Bell, Silent Night, all sometimes totally butchered. Thankfully though, everything is very sounding, rather festive and high-spirited in Lemmings Universe. I would have been pleased with, 
pleased with playing this game back in 93 actually at Christmas really pleased because it's it feels like a, a properly I mean obviously it's it's based off lemmings and completely exactly the same as lemmings but because they've added they've really gone to sort of like this detail of putting all this extra amount of Christmassy stuff in it snow fairy lights decorations tinsel cr trees you know it actually feels like a, a legitimate Christmas game so many Christmas games feel like something that are just throw away things that are just a load of trash really I mean most Christmas games are um, anything that is legitimate um, mechanics should we say and legitimate longevity that have a Christmas theme I mean works for me and this really does work for me I think James Pond 2 is another one that seems to work for me as well again because it's a legitimately it's a legitimate game in its own right it doesn't need to be a Christmas game but uh, these levels are pretty simple at the moment, just a couple of bashes needed for this one. Here we go, increase the old uh, output. Oh, I went down there. Scroll around, have a look. Come on, guys. Here they come. The marching Santas of Doom. There's Bouncy Snowman up there. Hey! Now that is a little bit... Is that a, That's a little bit Olaf foreshadowing that, isn't it? I wonder if Disney were looking at what Psygnosis and DMA had done back in 93 and thought, you know what, yeah, an anthropomorphic snowman which can detach its head in, in this sort of manner for comic effect. There we go. Disney nicked it off Psygnosis, didn't they? That's what they did. And it needed 90% and got 100%. Everything's happy on the Christmas sack so far. We've got everything. What we got next? Christmas South of the Equator. I haven't been even looking at the um, titles here. I've been rabbiting on about the game. I, I really enjoy this game a lot. That's why. <laughs> ah, okay. So it's um, gone a bit sunny now. The snow's all gone, apart from the snow on the top of the Christmas bud. Or is that cream? Let's say it's cream. Or snow. Or frosting. Or icing. Or I don't know. Let's mine down here. This seems very easy. Um, yeah, it's extremely easy. Oh, yeah, oh well, he's off down the road. I'm going to stop him. You stop there. Yeah, because they'll all stop walking down there. So I'm not going to get 100%. I needed 90%, didn't I? So mine down there. And this is this is very simple. I, I would have thought this would have been um, a little bit more complicated. They're not going to... Yeah, I've got the angle right. They're not going to drop. They're not going to fall from a too great height. And go straight in your pud. Increase the percentage. Get the old troops out. Here they come. Santa attack! I have to blow old uh, Blocker Boy up at the end. Come on, guys. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to finish this level off and wrap this NRG up. Yeah, I love this game. It's a fantastic little game. Nuke! Um, fantastic little Christmassy game version of Lemmings. Always, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't think I've ever met a person who doesn't like Lemmings. Enjoy the game and its humour and everything else. Really addictive, of course, because it's a, you know, very addictive, interactive puzzler. So to see a very high quality Christmas version of it on the Amiga, of course, is rather heartening. And uh, yeah, if you want to play a Christmas game and feeling festive, uh, you can't be go go far with uh, something like this for a bit of fun with the kids. Yeah, sounds good for me. Uh, they'll probably absolutely work once they've worked out the controls. They'll probably do it quicker than I can ever now because I'm an old crotchety man. I am. I have become Santa. Anyway, on that note, I will bid you farewell. Happy Christmas, and I'll see you on some more Christmassy games. Nova Bug, out.